Hey, uh, welcome to the Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks podcast number two. I'm your, <laughs> I am your co-host, Neil C. And I'm your other co-host, Annalise. Why are you holding on to your <laughs> I have no idea. I feel like they're going somewhere. Uh, so we got new headphones this week to... Uh, uh, Behringer's. Shout out. They didn't give them to us. You never know, though. You never know. Uh, yeah, so we got new headphones this week. So everything's, you know, we understand that you've come to expect some kind of consistency with this podcast. But now with these headphones, we don't know how it's going to turn out. So uh, just bear with us. <laughs> um, yeah, so here we are. Episode number two. Yay. We want to um, start by saying uh, thank you. Uh, we did so. We did the first episode, and obviously, we're doing this because um, we think we're way too self-important and wanted to hear ourselves wow. talk. No, <laughs> no, this is something we just, we decided to do for us and just to have fun. And we didn't really know if anyone would listen, and we are completely overwhelmed and thankful for um, everybody who has listened. And who we've gotten a bunch of positive feedback, and it's been crazy. We didn't we didn't think that many people would actually listen check it out. or care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So, um, <clears throat> so it's pretty cool. So, thank it's you very, very, very much. Cool. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it's 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 uh, pretty awesome. So, anyway, so here we are to do number two, and uh, we're on a roll. <laughs> we're we're hitting it. We're hitting it hard. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Please don't say right ready now. to do number two ever. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're gonna make me show. <clears throat> I'm gonna be okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, so, I'm uh, a ten year old boy. Wow. Here. I gotta, I gotta change something anyway, here. okay. Talk for a second. Um yeah, so again, super positive feedback and I think it's really cool that a lot of my friends have come up and uh said, Oh my god, you guys are doing a podcast. What the hell is that about? <laughs> but more positively than that sounded, but uh, I like it. It's cool, and uh, everybody positive. seems into it. And as soon as I mention it, they're like, "What? I'm on it. Let me find it." And it's really cool. Which is interesting because uh, we've kind of been discussing if we should have guests, like if we should have people come in and talk to us. The weird thing is, like, it sounds good. I'd like to have people come in, but I don't want to do an interview. Right. I want to. Well, it's really like, interesting because I mean, like, you want to help people plug what they do with, like, whatever it be, like a band or art or whatever, you know, um, dog rescue because we're super into that. But like, whatever it may be, it's weird to have someone in here to <laughs> sell their wares, if you will. But um, it's also kind of that weird thing where we only have like a half an hour. At least that's our podcast as of now. And so you have to keep kind of on track and you have to keep moving. And so 30 minutes of one topic or one person talking, like you kind of have to push people along. I've noticed like, so either you'll get someone who talks a lot and then they talk a lot, but don't say much. Right. Or you get the people that don't talk at all and you're like, okay, so you yeah, and help me out here. I don't know. So it's, it's always an interesting and strange dynamic. So you have to like fill in the blanks. Yeah, and I don't know if I want people to pimp stuff. I want right. people to come on and talk about what they're Buy doing. Buy my shit? Yeah. <clears throat> well, we kind of talked about um, uh, Jason's band is doing that. Is it Porch Fest? Napa? Porch Fest and Napa. In Napa, um, yeah. Cal- lovely Napa, California. Oh. Um, and so I thought it would be cool to have them on. And uh, we could... You know what's funny is I don't even remember Jason's band's name. I think they uh, they used to be called... they have a name. They used to be called Minus Mary, which is uh, something they did after they... Um, shot some chick named mary <laughs> after the exodus of said mary from right, the band right I'm which sure. is a really good name but um they're kind of um not alt country but americana, americana. if you will yeah anyway um, so porch fest is a really cool thing that napa does that a whole bunch of bands i think it's something crazy like 200 bands play and they you donate a porch and which technically results in a venue is that like somebody's gut is that like their front porch <laughs> No. Hold my beer. Watch this shit. No. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Um, so like, you know, so bands have a venue to be heard and seen, which is really cool because it's all local band and unsigned bands. Like, that's the deal. Like, you... And um, Jason told me that the owner of Wildcats, that really cool store that I love in downtown Napa... Oh, the, the clothing store? Yeah. The vintage... 
vintage? It's yeah. they have vintage and new. It's kind of hipster rockabilly coolness. Um, she can uh, hipster rockabilly and coolness be all in the same? Absolutely. Sentence? And Wildcats, <laughs> yeah, okay. bring it. Plug. You're welcome. Okay, so <laughs> I guess your, um, your sister would think so. Yes, I, she would. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> um, so apparently the owner of that, I forget her name. Sorry, uh, is Mary. the mine is Mary. Um, is the person who is the organizer of Porch Fest. Anyway, so it'd be cool to have Jason in to talk about that as going full circle back to having guests. Um, but then it would be the whole half hour of Jason talking about his band, which is really cool because Jason's an interesting guy and all of that. But yeah, I mean, do we just let him come in and talk or do we actually interview him? Or well, It creates a whole weird wanna thing. Inter- like if we, if we did it, I wouldn't want to interview him. I just want him to come and hang out and talk with us. I mean, obviously we'll talk about... His band that, and, and, yeah. and if he's got a song, I'd be more than, you know, we can have that as the intro. Right. Are we or whatever. Have a but, link to it on our website and all that. I just and, don't know how exciting yeah, it is. To I think you're right. I mean, I mean, yeah. So what we should do is just Jason's have him cool, come it, in and chat with us. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Love you. Okay. Um. So at the very end, and he can plug his wares at the very end. That's what I'm thinking. Like he comes in and he chats with us because he's a good talker. I'm totally chewing ice. I know. Stop. Stop. Sorry. Stop. Um, so nickname talks a lot, uh, can come in and chat with us. And then at the very end, he can plug his wares. Well, I think for, with him, it would be cool because he'd come in and just rap with us and we could just talk, which would be fun, but I don't want it to be because we're friends. Like if we start doing like people we don't know very well, Well, then it's going to get weird. Let's not get crazy. Uh, I I don't want it to to come over. (laughs) I don't want it to be where it's, it, we're actually interviewing like so right. tell us because that right and i have three pages of research and i have yeah. to keep referring tell to my about ipad the band. And, none right. of that like oh so cool what are you doing this weekend your right. band is playing what's what your, your name? motivation besides a song yeah i don't yeah, i no. don't nobody that, wants that <laughs> no not at all <laughs> tell me about your feelings right yeah okay. yeah okay anyway so no guests but maybe um friends that stop by right there we go Right. I'm not sure how we phrase that or work that into the podcast, but we will. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I think think people, every now and then people just coming to hang out and chat would be fun. Right. The stop by segment. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll work it out. We're working on that, people. Yeah. Um, But I would like to say that uh, Neil is doing a great job taking care of the podcast. I just kind of show up, to be honest, and... uh, He's been doing everything, getting us on the web, that getting is, us on Twitter, Facebook, web pages. Not, it's awesome. That's not, You're awesome. No, thank you. <laughs> and I love you. I love you. <laughs> and once again, we are uh, surrounded by two dogs and a cat. The other cat is out killing people. But, or uh, animals of some kind. <clears throat> we are. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, so like that matters, but that's what we've been talking about. <laughs> We just want you to know how crowded this, this is, little room is right now. Yeah. That's all. It's, the we, two of us, all this gear, plus like three person. pets. Yeah. So and then, yes, and our we need a friend to come over and find a chair and sit with us. It's gonna be great. So you, um, th- this is my amazing segue. Okay. Out of that into this, so segue you had an, an interesting um, question for me this week. You asked. Oh, super you, sorry about that. That's right. You asked. <laughs> What podcasts I listen to. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm trying to add more podcasts to my day. I only have four saved on my, I guess it's subscribed to officially. Right. Um, and I know that you have a lot more and it makes me wonder what you listen to as opposed to what I listen to and what other people listen to. And um, since this has come up and we're doing our own podcast, it's come up to ask other people what they listen to. And it's it's very interesting. It's very interesting what people listen to, I think. Yeah, um, I can say that my favorite part. Po- I can't even. Watch out. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite podcast is the Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks podcast, which of course it is. I'm pretty sure everybody's favorite. Yeah, I, I've gotten a lot of emails saying this is my favorite podcast. I've been listening <laughs> to podcasts for years. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, I've gotten a lot of emails saying I'm surprised you guys don't suck. So. That's always good. Really, I don't. I haven't gotten any emails. How many emails have you gotten on the on our on our uh, Dark Angels email? I have not looked at that. I just assumed that you would tell me if we had something. I just what <laughs> what? I just okay. Told you. So how many emails have we gotten? And they're all supportive. 
Yes, they are all. We've gotten thousands. Uh, everybody, I'm serious. Come on, I like to know this stuff. We've got a couple, a couple emails from the um, masses who have downloaded <clears throat> so far. But he's going to show me later. We're going to yeah, move on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not okay. Showing anyway. you emails right now. So you want to know what uh, podcast? Yes. What's I in your phone to? right now? All right. So the podcast I am subscribed to, and you've heard a couple of these. I've, I've mm-hmm. made you listen to a couple of these. Uh, one of my favorites is Sawbones. Right. Which is brilliant. Is an awesome podcast. I think I've only listened to two, and that's why we've been driving somewhere for something. And uh, it was really good. It was amazing. I really liked it. And their dynamic is hilarious. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a husband and wife. Oh, and by the way, we've stolen our idea for a podcast from everybody's podcast. This is not <laughs> original, nor do we claim it's supposed to be original. This it's an homage. Just it's, yeah. <laughs> homage. Okay. So um, uh, it's a married couple. She's a doctor. He's a dork. And He must um, do something else, but we're not sure what it is because no, he, he never he, says. No, he, he writes for a video game magazine. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know which one? I do, and I totally forgot. Anyway, we'll figure I, it out later. Yeah, I checked it. It's a, it's a good one. Actually, That's he really write. awesome. I, Video I gamer marries doctor. You're welcome. It happens. Yeah. Live the dream. I, I lied. <laughs> he, d- he doesn't write for it. He's the editor. So... So they're both brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Online. So. Anyway, so she's a doctor, and they talk about um, um, medical practices from the past. So they talk about how people dealt with the Black Plague or right. the first – they had a um, – Well, it's medical topics and also includes medical history. Like she looks – she right. seems really prepared medical history and is really probably the best. knowledgeable. Yeah, yeah, is the best way. They, they talked about like the first plastic surgery or the first amputation. <laughs> And the ones that we heard, or the ones I heard, the two that I've heard, um, were awesome. And their dynamic's funny. Like, he's, like, making jokes, and she's like, okay. <laughs> and she's just like... But anyway, she's she's yeah, she's funny, too, good. and they're super good. knowledgeable. He's a total, and, he's a total uh, goofball, and she's got to rein him in. Right. Which I think is hilarious, because that's totally what I would do. I mean, like, the, earlier in this podcast, I mean, like, a poop joke. And I'm like, all oh, right. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, I'm also a huge fan of all the Smodco stuff. I'm a big Kevin Me too. Smith Me too, as well. So, and what's really interesting is I like the Kevin Smith movies, but I've become a bigger fan after reading his book and listening to the Smodcast. Like, it's made me a really huge Kevin Smith fan. And before... And I've actually, um, he probably won't remember this, but I've met him and I've seen him around at my work and pre mouse, pre mouse, of course. Um, and he was, uh, very nice and all of that. And I have a couple of friends who work with, or used to work with him very closely. I don't know if they still do, but, um, well, Scott Mosier was out there doing what he birds, was, and birds. I never saw him, huh. <laughs> which is kind of funny, but, um, you know, cause everyone's in their room doing work like they're supposed to do and heaven forbid we like all congregate at the coffee machine every now and then. But anyway, so was a Kevin Smith fan, liked his movies and all that. And I also did some work for Oni Press, shout out. Um, and they did the Clerks comic book and all of that. And that was really cool, but not until I listened to all of his podcasts and read his book, which you suggested by the way, which is really awesome. Um, did I become a huge Kevin Smith fan? There's so much I want to say about Oni Press right now, uh, <laughs> and you shouting out to that, but <clears throat> I digress. So anyway, so back to the podcast, not ours, the ones that I like. Right. Uh, so I listen to, uh, on the Smodcast or Smodco, whatever you want to call it, I listen to Phoebe. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, short for four eyes and a beard. <laughs> and what's funny is I have notes of podcasts I should be listening to. Right. But, um, and that is on there, but I haven't yet listened to one. And that's uh, Scott Mosier mm-hmm. and Matt Myra, mm-hmm. which is pretty cool. I listened to Edge of Medication, mm-hmm. which is um, Andy McElfrish and Kevin Smith, which is. And we've listened to one of those that I'm mean, together. So yeah. you listen to it all the time. I've only heard one episode and I thought it was pretty cool. So Yeah, that's pretty right. cool. That one's about. Um, Andy McElfresh is, uh, was a writer for The Tonight Show. Mm-hmm. Um, not anymore because Jimmy Fallon took it to New York. Uh, but it's uh, he's very smart, and Kevin Smith learns a lot of stuff from him, and that's about it. It's, it's funny. It's good. Right. I agree. Um, let's see. As far as their podcast, um, I listen to Tell Him Steve Dave, which is a super <laughs> popular podcast, although I haven't been listening to it as much. Um, I just got NASCAR updates, so I can't look at that right now. Please, I can't please move phone. on. Like, um, put that down. Uh, we haven't watched the nationwide race yet, so... NASCAR. No, no, it, it got rid of it. Um, okay, cool. Please don't tell me. We're going to watch the nationwide <laughs> race after this. We're recording it. So we don't want any, any NASCAR fans out there. We don't want to know what happened. You know, we're basically a married couple. We like to watch it over dinner. That's right. right. <laughs> a little NASCAR with dinner. 
Because how we do things. That's a very West Coast thing to watch NASCAR <laughs> over dinner. So tell them, Steve, Dave, um, is is really cool. However, uh, lately, Walt Flanagan, the dude from Comic Book Men, just sounds like a bitter old man. Well, yes, I and I have mentioned this. I. Again, some background. I worked at a comic book store. I actually worked at a comic book store for four years and did some work for a publishing company as well. And I have to say that Walt is – we'll move into this like maybe in a different podcast, but uh, is kind of like the stereotypical comic book store owner where he's a little judgmental and a little bitter and a little bit like – hating on things and i don't always enjoy him on comic book man sometimes i do sometimes like he's kind of cool and he gets something in that he really likes and you can see that little boy inside where he gets really excited about something you know a comic book or when the um god i'm gonna remember i forget her name but this um lady from star trek um lieutenant uhura i forget her real name but you know and he was really excited and he was helpful and that was really cool but then like half the time he's just making fun of people and being kind of of a bummer and i'm like dude anyway but most of the time i really like him so i can understand what you're saying but maybe i'll come back around i mean it's just one of those things where maybe those few podcasts were yeah i I don't know i i so i i mean i still subscribe (laughs) i just don't listen to them as much i do listen to the um smodcast Mm -hmm which is Kevin Smith and what the hell is his name? Scott Bozier. All right. Do you still listen to Hollywood Babylon? I do. I, um, I'm so behind on my podcast. <laughs> I think I have like 30 Hollywood Babylons ho- in Hollywood my Hollywood Babylon yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So I listen to that one also. And uh, every now and then I'll listen to Jay and Silent Bob Get Told, which is pretty cool because it's the, uh, the podcast with Jason Muse, which is like his sober podcast, like – they check in with him, how many days he's sober. It's Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes just yakking about stuff. Mm-hmm. Jason Mewes still I haven't uh, heard that one, but I would like to. Um, Plus One used to be a Smodcast, which was cool. Are they not doing they, it anymore? Well, I think they're selling it. I think the last one they did, they pressed onto vinyl. Hmm. So I'm a little confused. Fat Man on Batman, since I'm a big Batman fan. Right, and, and I listened to that one as well. That was one of my favorites. Kevin Smith does that. Um, I did listen to the Smodco Morning Show, which is the Smodcast Morning Show. They have How different people. How many do people. they have? Good oh Lord. my God. I think he's got, I want to say it's into the 20s now. <laughs> there, there was someone from work who I told that we had a podcast, and he Im- immediately mentioned that he mostly listens to all Kevin Smith's podcasts and brought up Smodco. And then I'm like, I didn't realize he had them. And he's like, oh, yeah. And like brought up the website and was like, look at this. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He does but, five a week himself. Right. So that's, that's a lot. One of my favorite um, podcasts right now is uh, What Say You, which right. is with uh, Brian Quinn. And that's also a Smodco. And Sal. Uh, no, it's not. I think Brian Quinn is doing that one on his own. I don't oh, think no. it's under Smodcast. Okay. Uh, I'm not positive. Um I would imagine that I will probably get an email or a tweet telling me what it is. <laughs> um, so it's the it's the two correction. of the guys from Impractical Jokers, uh, Brian Quinn, who's also on Tell Him Steve Dave, and that's how I heard about this one. Um, and that one's really cool because it's just two good friends who hang out and talk about stuff. And since they travel and do stand up comedy and have the TV show, right? Um, he, I remember you mentioning it. Yeah, he used to be a. Uh, a New York firefighter. Um, Sal used to right. work in a bar and then owned a bar. So they're they're the famous people that seem most down to earth and most blue collar. And their stories are freaking. That was the story I told you about how Sal got the women's pants and he put on the women's right. pants. Right. Oh my and god. Made the ransom note. So you gotta um, listen to it. I'm not gonna tell you right now, but yeah, worth ch- it. Yeah. Check out what's <laughs> Um I'm also a huge fan of the uh, what you missed in history class. I've I saw that the you liked stuff, that how stuff works and you know some, sometimes when I see stuff that you like I I'm like oh that's really cool that he likes that Let, what is that about and I saw that you like that but I haven't had time to research that that was the one where I said some people will make negative comments because the one lady really likes cats oh right yeah so uh, and she mentioned her cats like so three times total or something that's, yeah <laughs> that's from howstuffworks.com stuff you miss in history uh, the indoor kids. Which uh, um, is pretty much a video game podcast, which is <laughs> also awesome. Also one of my favorites. Yeah. I listen to uh, Radio Lab and World Service Discovery. I have no as well idea as what that is. National Geographic Weekend. <laughs> and another one of my favorites is How Did This Get Made? Many hours in the day, people. Yeah. Um, I also listen to How Did This Get Made. So right now, I think 
I don't know how many you just mentioned. I think like 10, but I think I only currently have four subscribed to, but I've been trying out new ones. Like right. I have, um, the indoor kids, which I love. And, um, he's really funny and she is brilliant. Like she, and she also has a potty mouth. And like, what's, what's like his I name? do, it which what's, is hilarious. What's his name? Um, I'm going to mess it up. Go ahead. I'm, no, it's Kalmar. Oh God. Kumail. Good Lord. I'll look it up and we'll come back to that. Um, so anyway, so I think they're married. And the last one I listened to was them in bed from Portland. And they're like, so we're live in Portland and in bed. And he's like, oh, and it's going to be sexy. She, she's like, no. So, so his name is Kumail and her name is Emily. That's correct. Kumail's a stand-up comedian who was also on uh, Franklin, and, Franklin Bash. and Bash. Anyway, so it's it's really nerdy but and awesome. She is so informed and like you can tell that she's a real gamer. She was a, I think she was and a marriage counselor. Something. I yeah, don't know, but she's brilliant therapist. and has like really plays video games and is super into it and like will drop some like video game science on you, which is brilliant. And an F bomb like every other word, which right. is also pretty awesome. And uh so that one, so um, I have the Indoor Kids and Fat Man on Batman because obviously I love comics and I like Kevin Smith and I love Batman. So it's kind of a gimme. Right. And then How Did This Get Made, which is also extremely funny. One of my current favorites is the one they did on Howard the Duck. Yeah. So listen to that one. Paul Shear and his wife and uh, Jason Mantukis. Right. Uh, and his so wife watch, is an actress and famous league. as well, but yeah. I, I'm going to blank on her name right now. Sorry. But uh, if fine. you watch the league, you know who they are. Or if you watch, oh, God, I forget, N F T S N N N S C I S S B T U I. I don't know. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh, whatever it is. <laughs> you lost but me at it, N. So what they do is they <laughs> they review really bad movies. So they they watch the movie and then they get together and talk about it. And it, it, they've reviewed so many movies that I absolutely love. Um, but it's it's funny. So how did this get made? Um, I'm a fan of Strangers which is a um, public radio thing. I'm also a big fan of Girl on Guy. Um, we've talked about this before, and I love Aisha Tyler, and I have not listened to it yet. And there's a fourth one on my favorites podcast, but of course I'm blanking out, and I don't have my phone near me. But uh, You want to go get it? Uh, no, 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 because I'll make a lot of bumping no, no, and right. noises. So anyway. But um, anyway, I'll shout out later, but... Uh, those are my favorites currently. And, All right. Uh, yeah. Girl on Guy, um, Snap Judgment from NPR, This American Life from NPR, um, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me from NPR, and StoryCorps from NPR. <laughs> and I and then wow. um, I also like to um, give to the NRA when I can. Wow. Yeah, really? just to balance out. I love <laughs> Okay. Although my sister was shooting guns today, so that makes sense. Which up for is it. interesting, but she's married to a firefighter, so I guess she has yeah, to they be all somewhat shoot gun. Firefighters just like to into shoot that, I guess. I assume. I don't. How? I don't Wait know. You, you In my assume? head, I'm thinking firefighters, guns, your sister. I don't know. <laughs> so the people who run into burning buildings when we all run out, you just assume like guns. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Hi, stereotype and judgmental. But I think, like, I kind of view um, law enforcement and firefighters as a similar personality. And uh... Oh, dear Lord. I need to hear more about this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, let's... Love you, Eric and Fabiana. Yeah, let's hear um, it. So, what kind of personalities? Um, I don't even know. Yeah, we're going to move on from that and maybe talk about it later. About but, uh, no, I mean, it doesn't surprise me is what I'm saying, the whole gun thing. <laughs> and, it, well, he's talked about guns before. Like, wait, at wait, dinner, wait, he was talking about, talking like, some about rifle him. or something. I'm like, wow, okay. We're not talking about him. We're talking about her. Yeah. And so you just say through osmosis because she's married to him. Um, She seems to – wow. I'm not going to oh, I'm not awesome. going to finish that statement. Yeah. So anyway, your sister uh, just posted some pictures just, on her I Facebook today of her shit against. I sure that I understand. Say. So <clears throat> firefighters and law nope, enforcement not gonna go there. have a certain personality. I'm done. <laughs> so done. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll come back to that. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm totally lost right now. So, so anyway. so those Podcast are... <laughs> to sister shooting guns. Okay. So sister shooting guns and then you texted her. What'd you say? Uh, she said that she's shooting guns because of the personality of her of her husband. Don't start. <laughs> um, I don't know. What did she say? She said something. Did she have a good Hold time? Uh, did she hit the target? She in said, the chest. She in... said that it wasn't her first time shooting a gun. 
I remember her saying before, like at some sort of family dinner, about right. she has shot a gun before. Yeah, so. I know. she said it's it's not my first time, and I said I'm not shocked. A virgin, you are not. Whoa. Yeah. Um, and then See, she said, "LOL." <laughs> I asked, "What gun are you shooting?" And she said, "A Sig 45, then a Wilson 1911." And I haven't heard from her yet because she's very busy since. shooting guns. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. Well, it is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It is Saturday and she's married to a firefighter. <laughs> Guns a blazer. <laughs> oh my God. I anyway. Can, oh. <laughs> Dear Lord, episode two and we're dead in the water. <laughs> so podcast. No. That's all I got. All right. And and you don't want to get your phone, so I don't know what you listen to. Um, I definitely I listen to a lot I, of Indoor podcasts. Kids, Batman, uh, Batman on Batman, and How This Get Made. And I know there's a couple others, but I'm like kind of blanking out right now. Oh, that's cool. But I actually mostly listen to audiobooks when I'm at work, so uh, podcasts or just kind of here and there, sporadically. Right. So Sporadically. Audiobooks. Audiobooks. Love them. We went to the library today, and you picked up how many audiobooks? 20. 20? Was that it? I thought it was 22. It was 20. Well, I have the receipt. It said 20. 20. And we walked. So we're, <laughs> I, we're in the library. Annalise <clears throat> says, hey, can we go to the library? I want to... Return some these audio books <laughs> and, and have some holds I need to pick up. Yeah. And so two holds. So I'm like, yeah, cool. So we go in there and get two holds and I'm walking around near where the audio book section is to check out. <laughs> we got a basket, by the way. We got a basket. <laughs> and um, so she ke- keeps coming with, you know, packs of CDs of audio books. And then she looks at me and says, hey, you have your library card. I'm like, no. She goes, you don't need it. You have your ID. That's fine. Um, will you check out half of these for me? You make and me I'm sound like, like a junkie. And you were. Because she says, because I can only check out so many and I want to get all of them. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And then I actually would have going, I was going to get more, but I then I going. said, I would have going, oh my gosh. So I was going to get more and I was looking around and then I finally said, well, this is a lot. I don't think they're going to let me get this many. I'm just going to stop looking. We should go. Like we basically I had a self intervention and I was like, it was heaping full. And I was like, we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> so we have a basket full of audiobooks, audiobooks, which come as CDs. I mean, so they're, you know, if you think of like between a, five and 10 discs, usually. Yeah. So we have this and I'm like, all right, yeah, I guess I'm checking out half of these. And we go up to the front and we both lost our library cards. We have to get new library cards. And <laughs> so it's that because I give at least half the stack and I keep half the stack. And so I asked the um, very nice librarian. Yeah. I asked how many audiobooks can a person check out at once? And she says <laughs> 50. 50. And you said, 50? I said, really, 50? And at this time, Annalise looks like I've Jack missed Nicholson out. <laughs> as the Joker. Her smile is, she's got smiley. Her smile is huge. Her eyes are wide open and she's like, 50? This is it? So we're sitting there and we have, we're like, oh, cool. We're, this whole transaction is going through. We have 20 we have a stack that's two it's stacks 20, about a right. foot tall of CDs that are audio books. And she looks, the, the librarian looks at me and says, do you also want to check out the basket? And I look at her like I am horrified. I'm like, no, no. And I run away and I put the basket away. And as I'm walking back, I'm thinking, wait. We could really you use can, the basket. Not only that, but you can <laughs> check out. A, it's like a shopping basket that you get and at the grocery store. Also, I go to the library a lot, obviously, and I did not know you could check out the basket. That was never offered before. So, which is interesting because I've checked out, you know, 15 books at a time before, and no one has ever offered me the basket, which at some point would have been very helpful. But then, insult to injury. We're leaving, and there's a family coming in with a basket full of books. And I'm like, wow. See how helpful that would have been? A basket full of books. You can check out the basket with your books. Yeah, awesome. I, I was I was a little a little surprised that um, <laughs> that they give you a, a basket. Although it was funny. Did you notice the dude when we were walking out, he had a basket? I did He had not. a basket full of books. I honestly, I normally take in like a grocery bag with me <laughs> to make it easier. So, um, like a shut up, plastic, you have a problem. Like yes. a plastic grocery bag. Yes. 
of all the the reusable well i just you know kind of have one like in the car like shoved in the glove box for the you know said emergency library stuff the things you have shoved in your car i don't even want to i have a very nice car by the way and I love it. <laughs> oh my God. And flex, I love my car. Flex your car must have a very nice car. By well, way. it's not like a, it's not like a BMW, but it's a nice car. And uh, oh, shout out to our last podcast. Dodge Dart was the car I was thinking of. The old car. You're that... Shouting out to our last. Yes. Our last podcast. If you listen to listen. our last podcast, we love you and thank you. And Dodge Dart was the car I was trying to think of. Oh, the boxy car you want yes. to remake. Yeah. Anyway. And we we actually talked about perhaps if we come into the means. Of right. making of a uh, redoing restoring restoring, an older right. car, which could be fun. Dodge Dart. I don't know if it'll be a Dodge Dart. Maybe, maybe, mm. maybe a Dodge Dart. <laughs> Who knows? We'll talk. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so the so, things you have tucked into the crevices of your vehicle, I have sunflower no seeds I and no extra jackets. I just like that when <laughs> you know, um, no. I'm a big fan of washing cars. It, it's totally zen for me. I love yes. it. I like to go out there and wash cars. Some people like to garden. Also, he does that, but he also likes to really wash the cars and uh, make them clean. So right, as opposed to washing them and making them dirty. So when I was out there the last time, I have you could never... just go out there and pretend to wash the cars. I don't That'd know. Be weird. <laughs> I I was shocked. I'm always shocked when Please I wash don't. your car. Please don't. At where. I I'm find get so coffee. Mad at you right now. <laughs> no, don't. Where I find coffee, but now the new thing is because people you, actually listen to this now. So <laughs> because careful. you you eat sunflower seeds, the the back of your steering wheel as well as the okay. turn signals have salt all over them. <laughs> okay, so let me start off by defending myself, Mister. No, 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 no. Chuckle pants. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> I have a long commute, not as long as some, but longer than most. It's 45 minutes-ish in the morning, and at night, it's about an hour and 15 minutes. On a really bad Friday, I've been out there for two and a half hours. So I kind of need something to do, otherwise I go crazy. So I kind of like, you know, have a drink, have a, you know, some sunflower seeds, listen to a book, hence the obsession with audiobooks, by the way. I can listen to them at work as well as in the car. And so I don't really have time to read. And to be honest, we get up so early in the morning that uh, reading in bed, which is the time I have really to read, is I get like two pages in and I fall asleep. Like I've actually hit myself with a what, book what does in this the face. What have to do with me watching the car? You're giving your daily. <laughs> <laughs> and, and daily then, update. And, There's and my and daily schedule. I'm, You're welcome. I'm lying in bed and I hit myself in the face with the book. That I'm just saying that, that I, I would watch I would salt. really love to read like real books. I love paper books. <laughs> but that? you know, I end up listening to audiobooks, referring back to a library and audiobook obsession. Wow. Are you gonna be alright? <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> so I have sunflower seeds and audiobooks in the car. Because I'm in the car a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, you do. Okay. So I, I'm just not used to cleaning salt off the back. Of the then story. don't. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. Uh, no, I, it's I just I just I was prepared for where the coffee is, but I was not prepared for salt. <laughs> no. <laughs> Now there's dead space. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> I'm sure everybody thinks it's funny. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so cleaning salt. Anyway, so I guess we'll end it there. Are we <laughs> done already? I thought yeah. we had like two more topics to talk no. about. Oh, my well, gosh. we're uh, we're 35 minutes in. Oh, okay. And so we should probably Somebody's getting go. pissy with me. I don't want to get yelled well, at for salt. I have a long commute. So there. <laughs> That's how I'm just... End podcast. Long commute. You're welcome. Um. Again. Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Um, thank you so much, uh, for listening. That's so cool. Like I said in the beginning, this is something we just do for fun for us. We get to hang out and talk gibberish <laughs> for a half hour and put it on the web. And it, it is, um, it's kind of cool that, to know that people think it's kind of funny or at least that people are listening. And like I said, and before, people are listening. We have more than uh, just our friends listening, I think. So that's pretty cool. And, if uh, if you like it, 
please tell somebody and share it. And if you don't like it, like I said earlier, um, share it with someone that you really hate. You know, someone that really annoys you and be like, wow, this would be awesome. You should listen to this. You know, they'll think you're being nice. Then they'll hear something and think this is crap. And you're like, ha ha, I got you, sucker. Wasted 35 minutes of your life. Wow. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) No? Kind of. So anyway, so the cool thing is we are, our, our podcast, which is Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, is available on TuneIn. It's available on Pocket Casts. It's available on the Windows Phone Podcast Store and Stitcher and iTunes. Please check out our website. It's www.darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. We're on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash D-A-P-F pod. You can email us at darkangelsandprettyfreaks at gmail.com. My Twitter handle is at angelsfreak7, and... My Twitter handle is wiretechgirl. Um, at wiretechgirl. At Just wiretech in case, girl. I yes, guess, people course. would know that I'm being uh, an idiot. <laughs> uh, so, oh, uh, well, I guess we'll talk about that next time. My turkey vultures. What? There's always anyway, next time. Yeah, so that's all I can think of right now. Thank you so much again for listening and we will talk to you in about a week all right thanks for listening i'm Annalise, and i am neil c and this is dark angels and pretty freaks (laughs) 